Much in the past, yeah, yeah. my favorite one. The kids is that are gonna everybody love it. hates Chris uh, f- <laughs> letters above it. That's yeah, the best good. version of it. Yeah. Everybody hates this Chris. podcast. Hi, hey, how's, it, how's it going? <laughs> okay. Welcome to You Got Mail, the manliest podcast on the internet. We're kicking back with Keegan, Norm, Dan, and Zach, and boy, are we happy to just be here! And dude, I'm so happy and to, be, to here. be in your ear holes and maybe on your eye holes. Uh, I'm the eye hole man. <laughs> <laughs> Sick, sick, Fuck sick. yeah, dude. Don't touch his eye holes. <laughs> Don't touch his eye holes, man. Fuck yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> I heard they're worth it, though. <laughs> yeah, they're probably worth it. Yeah. They look delicious. All right, yo. So uh, I was I was uh, bringing the drinks this week. I'm the one who's supplying the drinks. And um, I went ahead and brought two things. One that's just a little sipper to, to pre-sip just right now while we're just kicking it real quick. Because uh, <laughs> this is a limoncello that I love. Uh, honestly, I just tried limoncello two weeks ago. And it's my new shit. It's actually new shit. It's pretty good, man. It's my new shit, pretty man. Good. It's fucking good, good. It's bro. sweet. It's easy to drink. Yeah, uh, it tastes like... Have we lemons. had it limoncello on yeah here? not no, on the no. podcast no. no 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 yeah it's just a lemon uh lemon digestive or aperitif huh keegan knows a lot about this because he makes it by hand at our work i'd say it's an aperitif but it's a uh, lemony it's liqueur what's the point of it it's just it's it's like it. it's lemony it tastes like i'm like a, a lemon drop like a it tastes like it's pretty damn good yeah it tastes like, <laughs> it tastes like hey <laughs> all right yeah, fuck just, yeah yeah it's pretty sweet good. it's uh it's called il tramonto and uh it's uh yeah it's pretty good i thought but it was called limoncello this it, one literally this is, tastes like is, candy it is limoncello yeah but it's that's the brand is il tramonto yeah so get it yeah there you go do you um, know if they make this with vodka or everclear uh, I think it's vodka this okay. one, but I'm not it doesn't 100% taste like sure. No, it doesn't taste. It doesn't have the bite of Everclear. But uh, my real drink, my one that's you know not just you know because whatever. That was just one that I brought. The uh, that you know whatever. Uh, it's not whatever, Zach. It's incredible, and we love you for it. I bought uh, a tequila. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> the second tequila of the Ariba, podcast. Ariba. The second tequila of the podcast, and I. I also brought the first one the first one so as you can see i am the tequila man i am the tequila man i'm the tequila, tequila man boy. and um sounds uh, like a lame superhero melt man tequila with man. the power to melt <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah um this is tequila fortaleza and it is the reposado version it's um uh, i've I'm never excited. i've honestly i've never even had it before you just talked about it norm yeah, one time and you were had talking it one time then yeah. i had it one time and then you we guys were, dude fortaleza is yeah fire, you guys were you you guys were speaking highly on it and i saw it in the store and i was like hey you know what they said they were having a hard time yeah. finding that one let me uh let me just get this one dude the and coolest thing is the topper for sure bro yeah the like topper is really really it's cool cut down agave plant. it looks like a pine cone like why a does it look like a top cone. why does it look like an agave plant that's been cut down because they use agave in it oh agave has to be in tequila or else it's not tequila doesn't it there does it go. have to be made in mexico or in Jalisco? no in mexico okay tequila's made all over mexico okay. Jalisco is just a big producer of tequila okay but uh but yeah there's some oaxacan tequila and there's some Jalisco tequila and there's some uh mexico mexico city city tequila and there's some there's tequila all over mexico but uh, Jalisco's just a mass like i think Jalisco's like Jalisco's like the Kentucky of Mexico, where you go there to go to where a bunch of whiskey. Like a, a lot yeah. number on the back of it? You go there to fu- to like fucking drink a bunch of tequila and do their distillery tours. Just like if you go to Kentucky, you're probably there to do whiskey tours if you don't live there. Um, but yeah. How do you say it? Say what? Fortaleza, I believe is how to pronounce. Fortaleza? Yeah. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah, dude, it's fire. It's so good. It's super smooth. Like this is probably one of the smoothest tequila. I've actually I've ever had. hated tequila until Zach until brought that. Zach brought that. I think 
I mean, yeah. I don't remember that bottle that much, to be honest. Like, oh, it was good. Really it was I like, I remember, remember like, like yeah. sweet. It was, yeah. it was a really sweet. You'll, for, you'll probably flavor. like this tequila. This tequila is super smooth, bro. So I actually good. hope, you know, I, I, I was getting read some facts about this tequila by my girlfriend in the car after we had uh, bought it because she was like, I know there's something like interesting about this uh, specific brand of tequila. And I was like, okay. So um, she, she had told me and I'm, and I pulled up, uh, a similar page here that gives you some fun facts about this but um the the people that make this tequila like the family was like a trailblazing family of bringing tequila to the united states Ooh. um and it says that uh blaze that trail brother shout out durango yeah it wasn't uh like a, a outside of you know jalisco um that it wasn't like a huge industry yet um tequila and it was uh he had the first like tequila distillery here in uh, to export to the United States, so um, they were like a huge, huge uh, like role in I in basically establishing tequila's identity in the United States. Um, and like although this this brand only opened up in two thousand and five, they have like uh, but like one hundred and fifty years worth of like family history of making tequila and. Um, and like doing something like, but basically the fa the father uh, or the grandfather, however far back it goes, was like the one that basically helped bring tequila to the United States and solidify its Your presence here. So the family brought Tatara Abuelo. So the family great brought help great bring great grandfather tequila wow. to the United States. That was close, yeah. but they didn't bring their tequila to the United States. Is that is that what you mean? So it's um well let me see if uh, I can find the specifics here on on that. Did you go to teque tequila los los abuelos dot com? Man, you are crushing it with the pronunciation. Tequila los abuelos dot com. Here's a fun fact worse. about me. Anytime tequila I go to like abuelos. a like Hispanic food restaurant or whatever it may be, my I have my wife order for me because I can't pronounce the things correctly. Oh, dude, I the, hate uh, the chips and what is that? Sa sal sa. sa Sa Babe, sal could you could you say this for me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, limo cherro. Uh, okay. Oof. I rolled my R. <laughs> Ships and limoncello. No, I mean I There's not no R. In I know. <laughs> um, I'm good at like saying things, but I have I don't I can't do the accent or anything. It, and I can roll on what you just said. I don't believe you. He, yeah. No, I can. I don't do it. Fajitas. <laughs> good, very good. Yeah, Thanks. you're right. Yeah, right. I stand Nailed corrected. It. Thank yeah, you. Wow. I know I'm I'm man enough to admit when I'm wrong. Um, this oh, is carne, I think carne es ada. So Ooh. we went to this place <laughs> called Chicho's. Uh -huh. Chicho's? Yeah, in Centennial. Yeah, it's and, up by you. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that we got food poisoning. It was either from oh, Chicho's or from dude. Little Caesars. Oh. Well, I think... I think it might be. Little, nice. Caesar's. Little Caesars is only known for putting out high quality shit. Yeah, Little Caesars <laughs> so I don't never think it was, me bad. I don't so think it was Little Caesars. Okay. Um, so, yeah. I'd love me a fucking $5. I had to call out. Well, I didn't call out from work. I went to work, dude, and I ate my lunch. And then, like, an hour later, my stomach was like. And you're like, I'm oh. got to go. So, I, I like. I, I Dude, I hung out as long as I could. I had, like, the pre-puke burps. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where you're just like, oh, yep. dude. That happened to you me your lunch recently. second time. So I went and talked mm -hmm. to my manager, and I was like, hey, man, I need, I got to go. Like, can I bounce? Like, we close in an hour. Like, I'm not all right. And yeah. so I called my wife, and I got home, and she was like, what's wrong? And I was like, my tummy hurts. And so I went upstairs, dude, and just yacked. Yep. And then took the a 15-minute nap. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I'll save the, the second part. But um, then she woke week? up today. Yeah, it was like Monday. I had to. Yeah, yesterday I had to call in yes. from work. Oh Ish. man, rough. So, um, you're feeling better though, right? I am. And you're then my wife, driver. like, she woke up today and she was like, "No, nope. I am not good." Yeah. And then my buddy's wife is also in terrible pain. Yeah. <gasps> Keep my wife's name <laughs> out your fucking mouth. And there it is, and everybody. There it is. Congratulations. That's Relative. how we're gonna get a million Relative. views on this podcast. Relative. We're famous. We're topical. We are, we are relative <laughs> and we are hip with the current events. Yeah, keep did you keep mean, his wife's name out of his uh, mouth. Yeah, don't yeah. talk about Jess. Did you mean relevant? Yeah. Just okay. 
because we are not relatives. I said what I said. All right. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's drink this now. Dude, um, please, but, God, I'm so excited. But uh, yeah, I'm super stoked on this. I fucking Dude, love I'm so. Cuba. I haven't and, had their repo uh, yet. I've had their Blanco cool. several times. but Is that what we repo. were drinking at? That uh, means white. Very good. Good job. All right. Very good. <laughs> yeah, good. No, I see. So you do order for yourself, you fucking liar. <laughs> you got well, he it. can say but, white. Like, I, I mean, I can say Blanco. That's cool. But, like, okay. that's not Blanco. it. I'd be like, yeah, let me have the queso yeah. Blanco. Yeah. Like, I can't, I can't do the accents either. Like, some people are like, they Sheesh. speak great English, and then they're like, I need to order Hispanic food, and then they're like, we're saying everything perfectly, and I'm like, I can't I like, do this I like shit, how you're bro. about to try it, and then no. you're like, no, you're like, no, no, uh, no. Mm-hmm. no. <laughs> Did you even pour any for yourself? Yeah, bro. It's like, yeah, dude, I'm sipping. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even pour some sipping. What a bitch. Are you shooting I'm that? Sipping. Are you going to shoot that? Are we shooting it uh, in general? I'm going to take a small sip and then I'll yeah, shoot gonna, the rest of it. I'm, I'm going to shoot it. I'm going to sip. I want a little tiny a minute, sip first because I actually do want to like taste it and then I'll shoot it. Okay, but I I'll, I'll shoot the rest of I this. I admittedly for sure. did underpour me and Dan, but that's just Dude, because. Dude, it smells so good. That's fine. Yeah. Um, I wasn't, but, honestly, he poured me like less than everybody else, and I was like, this is fine. This well, is fine. I'm okay I think he poured here. Let's the cheers least. real quick, so I was boys. Just calling him Let's out. cheers. I want everyone to smell it, though, because it smells fucking fantastic. That's what so. she said. Dude, it smells so good. Mm, yeah, very PR. I don't Strong. know. It smells what, like tequila. What get, notes are you getting? You smell a lot of agave. Tequila. I get a little bit of the barrel. Like, I almost get a little caramel on the nose. Oh, that's, wow. That's surprising. Like, a smooth. little bit of caramel on the No, it's very just smooth. A, just off of a sip of it, that, that's, No, yeah. Zach, you're, you're wrong. It's not smooth. It's very smooth. Okay. All right, brother. Dude, there's, like, no burn. It you're literally right. just yeah, no burn at all. I just don't think all. that I like the taste of tequila. The other Super. one was delicious because it was so sweet. Yeah. Did you yeah, sip this. that already? Yeah, I took a drink. Oh, man. I'm slacking. Okay. Well, yeah, no. Sip. I mean, I took, I took a, a sip. sip. I'm not sip shooting it. Of it. I'll, I'll shoot the rest of it. I just wanted to sip oh, it man. first because, man, that's so good. That's delicious. That's so I'm trying just, to tell you. I honestly do like drinking this. Uh, the lemon, lemon drink. The lemon yeah. chill. Yeah, yeah, if you want more of it, I'll, I'll, uh, a I'll pour some up in the freezer. Yeah. Dude, I'll I make some it, for the podcast one of these days. Dude, that would be I'm really cool, guy. man. That yeah, would be really be re- cool. That, that I'd love a Keegan that. custom brewed lemon cello. For the Keegan cello, Fucking gas, brother. Keegan brother. cello, brother. Keegan cello. I want to drown my... Bury my body with a bottle of Florida Laser. Say that five times fast. Bury my body with a bottle of Florida Laser. Faster. Bury my body with a bottle of Florida Laser. Bury my body with a bottle of Florida Laser. Bury my body with a body of Florida Laser. Bury my body with a bottle of Florida Laser. One time he did say body of Florida Laser. He did. He I did, but it. that was good. That was pretty good. I took my fire. alpha brain today. I'm on to you. <laughs> Dan's oh, on it today. I took my brother. alpha brain. You don't want to fuck with Dan and fuck my lion's mane mushroom. I got. Uh, I'm, I'm beta male as fuck today, dude. I'm firing dude, I'm on just all cylinders, chilling, today. bro. I'm just on a chill vibe today. I'm, I'm out here getting coasting. cucked by life, dude. Are yeah. you? Yeah, it's fucking other people, and I just get to watch. Oh, nice. So it's pretty yeah, cool, yeah, honestly. Yeah, you're just sitting back. I feel that. Yeah, it's it's. You're pretty just chill. kicking back with Keegan Norm Dan. It's <laughs> I want to ask Plus, you guys, <gasps> what do you think the best uh, like streaming service is? Like for like for TV, like yeah, if I could TV. only have one, mm-hmm. if you could only oh, have one, bro. HBO Max, dude. I can't not say Disney Plus, okay. only for the Star Wars content. I got you. Like, I love... You can still own all the Star Wars movies. Yeah, I can, but, bro, Mandalorian is so... Like, if I got that taken away from me, I'd be a little hurt. I'm sure that that'll come out. Kenobi's coming... I think it already is. Kenobi's coming out soon. Yeah, Yeah, you're right. I'm stoked. That's good. So, uh, like, don't get me wrong. I use other streaming services more... But when those things come out, that's all I want to watch. I'm like, I got you. Yep. So I watched Mandalorian this while it was going. I watched Boba Fett while it's going. Second Kenobi drops. I'm going to be watching that while it's going. That just has the most, like, the most, the most, I know they're, yeah, I know what they're going to make. And I love Marvel and I love Star Wars. And so I know I'm going to get a bunch of that. And I love Disney movies, period. Yeah. So I've been like, watching a lot of you them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I would I would rather just fuck with Disney Plus than, right. even though I like other shit. Gee, I like it. Picasso. Like Picasso. What are you thinking, Zach? What's your uh, go-to streaming service? 
Uh, I feel like I always end up clicking Netflix first, but it's a tough tie between that and Amazon Prime and like Amazon streaming services. Just yeah. because I feel like they have a lot of like really new movies and like stuff like that. Yeah. HBO got, Max has like the best movies. Yeah, HBO Max for is sure. on top That's of it. True. HBO Max is pretty good. Yeah. I don't actually... And all the Lord of the Rings. So actually, similar. Yeah, that's fire. Yeah, that's I love like, dude, I got like my super like... I got my they 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 all got their hooks set deep in me. I yeah, recently yeah. Uh, subscribed to Paramount Plus. Dude, I want to do that. I'm on I their th- I'm on their Plus. 30 day free trial right now. Pretty good. So it's I worth got it for the SpongeBob. Yeah. What well, they have SpongeBob on there? All of them. Yeah. Dude, they have Everybody Hates Chris. Dude, they yeah, have Hey probably. Arnold on there. I'm sure they have Cur- Courage the Cowardly Dog. Dude, um, I'm Paramount Plus is actually ah. uh, shout out my ex. Paramount Plus is. The Workaholics guys announced they're making a Workaholics movie, and it's exclusively going to. Well, Paramount they have Plus. all of the Workaholics on Paramount and it's going, Plus too. Yeah, and dude, they have all of the Paramount Jackass Plus. movies. Oh, bro, they have great. all of the Scream. Movies. Is the new one on there yet? Yes, no? dude. Really? It is. Yes. The new one was so good too, bro. It was very it was so good. good. I was left wanting oh, yeah. after the new one, but I think that it maybe it was just like my brain, just like, oh, this is the last time I'm going to see those guys. What I want, yeah, like ideally, I is I want all of the Viva La Bam series like on DVD. Viva La Bam was I want all of the Wild Boys on DVD. Do you remember that? You remember that like prank show Ryan Dunn used to host? No, You're, dude, he he got it for like two seasons on MTV. I want to say, and it was like an it was like a quality prank show. Because it was one of those ones where it's like someone contacted him home and they're wrecker. like, "Hey, yes, Home Wrecker, bro, that show was fucking sick. I want no, that I somewhere. Home Wrecker was sick, bro. Like, yeah, they they put that somewhere. It was like someone contacted contacted him and was like, "I want to prank my friend," but then it wasn't like some bullshit dumb prank. Like he was actually physically trying to hurt this person's friend, and it was fucking hilarious. I loved Home Wrecker, <laughs> dude. dude when you pour funny, that bro. that lemon cello, it looks like syrup. It is. It is. No, I'm okay. I'm gonna Thick. drink more tequila because this tequila. I'm, I'm still. Is it. I'm still going. Um, I'm still. But yeah, yeah. Home Record was my shit, bro. I yeah, I think that. that I'm just gonna have to. Oh, fuck. H. Well, I guess not. Yeah, if you had to choose Netflix. one, are you, sure? are you trying to choose. figure out which one you're gonna cancel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah thanks, thanks for your input, That's guys. All, yeah, I got yeah. different answers from everybody, so now I can't cancel yeah. any of them. Nobody said Hulu, dude. I do Hulu's like great. Hulu though. Okay. Hulu Futurama. Futurama. Yep. yep. Good See, that's Futurama, Family Guy. Bob's Burgers. Mm-hmm. Fucking Bob's Burgers. Rick yep. and Morty. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Oh, yep. HBO has Rick and Morty. Yeah, HBO Uncensored. has Rick and Morty now, too. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's the thing. It's fucking tough, bro. It's tough to pick. All these streaming services offer so many good things. I just want... Yeah. Dude, I wish they just came out with, like... It was, like, pay $80... You get everything <laughs> that used to be cable television. Yeah. No, right? <laughs> but, it, but it's just like so streaming services. Wrong. Streaming services are just totally, but, totally turning into yeah. Like, like I cable. don't want cable though. I so, want it all fueled off my internet. What I will so say, I'm okay with that idea. Is fucking Paramount Plus their ads like two and a half minutes. Ugh. 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 Yeah, I pay for ad free Hulu because I don't fuck yeah. with that. Yeah, I, I got the like regular the Hulu $2. because I got it free with my phone plan. Oh uh, yeah, so that. I'm not gonna. Yeah. S- once yeah, it's done, I'm getting rid of Hulu. I got you know Disney I mean? Plus for free for a year f- through Verizon. Two, two like and a half habit. minutes. I got two and a half minute yeah, ads yeah, on yeah, Paramount. Yeah, a Plus. minute and a half to two and a half minutes ads. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Fuck, Honestly, I like how he mouthed it. He mouthed it. He was like, "This is gonna like, be good." I like this one. Uh, I was setting myself up. I knew exactly what I was doing. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I forgot, dude. Two and a half minute ads. Dude, yeah, yeah, that's Poopy. ass. That's you, ass. Remember so that's when me. we used to have com- to watch commercials dude, for like it's five crazy. minutes? Commercials Ugh. were like entertaining. At some yeah, point. commercials sometimes were good. I remember because like, we had to basic television at my dad's house. That's all I had in my room, and I'd be up at like two o'clock in the morning watching infomercials on vacuums and shit. And oh, I was for like, sure. Dude, and I was like completely sucked in. I was like, damn, that vacuum well, can get all this. Yeah. Shit. I used to watch that's all that shit. Vacuum, man. Remember oh, those shit. like Panini Press fucking infomercials, bro? I used to watch all that shit. Be like, man, dude, I make also. 
sausage sandwiches. Yeah. I, yeah, facts, bro. I you, made a wa- you made a waffle. If I that? had, if I had a credit card at the time, I promise you, I'd have been fucking those commercials. Oh, up, bro, dude. big facts. Oh, yeah. I was too they, young. I always I wanted to buy them. Yeah. I always, I was just like, you guys are doing a great job, man. Fucking, I need a panini press. Dude, what I don't even do. <laughs> I'm, I'm 12 years old and I don't eat paninis, but I would love a panini press. Dude, That's how a, good you're a selling panini me. Press, dude, make your own Cubans at home, dude. Oh, man. Oh, Fuck yeah, yeah, bro. Dude. You dude, could also do that um, with two Cuban what? people. Oh, okay. Um, dude, one of the one of my old coworkers, uh, Travis, he actually I was his bar back for a really long time. He actually bought me um he bought me off something he saw at an on an ad on the TV at our job and it was like an electrical lighter. Like if you've seen it, it looks like a zippo, but when you flip it, it uses electricity instead of like gas. So you literally flick it and it does a little spark and you can use it to light shit. And it was like, he was like, dude, yeah, I was sitting here and at our at our job and I saw the ad on TV and it was like, buy one, get one free. So I bought them and one of these is for you. And I was like, bro, this is fucking sick because it makes a little noise too. And Sounds use like it. a taser, dude. It's like, it basically is a taser. Like, bro, this is fucking tight, bro. I would have been all in on those infomercials if I was getting paid then. How long did that uh, taser last you? So it, 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 yeah, it, it's a, it lasted probably like a week and a half before it came with a charger and then you just charge it. No, I mean like, do you still have it? Yeah. It's still at my house. Oh, cool. Yeah, then that's house. awesome. Yeah. I still have it. Yeah. Yeah. Longevity. Even on that uh, is, is Krista, sick. Krista bought me uh, the same thing, but it's a candle lighter. So it's like a super long. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. It's bendable mm-hmm. like the middle, but cattle it's, prod. yeah, it's basically a cattle prod for candles. And That's it's fucking dope, sick, dude. dude. Yeah. And I love that shit. I love candles. I and love all prodding that. cattles, dude. Oh yeah. Daddy. Have you ever been hit with a cattle prod? No. If I ever got hit bro. with a, pa- a cattle prod, bro, what the fuck? That's like, a- <laughs> you're dead, bro. That's some what? jackass yeah, level shit, bro. Some jackass got level shit right on bro. the ass cheek. I've never, That's I've never like. been around enough cattle for that to even be an option. If uh-huh. I'm going to be honest, I wasn't near cattle. I was in a horse and tack shop. <laughs> I'm a city boy. My uncle zapped me on the ass cheek with a cattle prod. He was like, you know what this is? I was like, no. And I like turned around like, oh, I don't care. He's like, bah! I was like, ah! <laughs> cool right uncle, on the butt man. cheek. Yeah. And I ran all the way home that day. Wee, wee, wee. wee. All the way wee, home. Wee. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. All the way home. Nice. Wow, 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 bitch. I'm a little baby. It. Yeah, because you, cause you did a cry. <laughs> yeah, bro. Fucking sick, dude. Dude, do you remember those old Geico commercials though? Where they're like the, the little, little pig, pig cry, wee, and wee, he's wee, like, wee, 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 with the fuck one of those little <laughs> windmills at the <laughs> car window, <laughs> pinwheels, pinwheels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Dan. I'm oh, a man. fucking idiot. That was uh, those. <laughs> well, it is a windmill. But it's, it's a smart. little windmill. <laughs> AKA a pinwheel. Geico used yeah. to have the best commercials. Dude, Geico man. still does have the Geico and Doritos. I and specifically Doritos. remember having My great favorite insurance commercial is still Liberty Mutual. Liberty, Liberty, Liberty. <laughs> and he's like, Liberty Buchamo. Liberty, uh, Biberty. Liberty. And he can't like get it <laughs> right. dub it over. And then they dub it over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Billy Mays here with another fantastic oh, product. Billy Mays, <laughs> rip. rip. That used to be my ringtone for a long Dude, time. that's sick. <laughs> and I, 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 am I correct in remembering that he died from luggage dead. falling out of the overhead bin and hitting him on the head? I on did an not know what? how he died. Attack. But I know was that it a heart he attack? died. <laughs> so <laughs> so it it <laughs> that's how he died. That's fucking sick, bro. No, apparently it was a heart attack. But uh, maybe it startled him into a heart attack. There you go. I like yours better. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to say that luggage that's hit what him I, in the head. That's what I heard. Like, somebody um, didn't button down their luggage good enough in the overhead bin on an airplane. Dude, those OxyClean that's, commercials. That's another one of those Legendary. ones where uh, where somebody just tells you something and you just follow it blindly for the rest of forever. Yeah, I choose to believe that instead yeah. of what it is probably So I've fact. been telling people that Billy Mays got killed by like <laughs> a sick, uh, suitcase landing on his head <laughs> in an airplane. For years. For years. years. Nobody's corrected me. And you're going to continue to because that's a cooler <laughs> the story. The main reason uh-huh. I remember all that shit is because did you guys ever follow the YouTube channel Djibouti J- Dubs? Djibouti Dubs, yeah. Djibouti Dubs would take those infomercials like Billy Mays and the Slap Chop guy. Like, uh... Um, and oh, then just do voiceovers of uh, them. I'm just going to slap that bitch up. And yeah, and oh, yeah, fucking yeah, I do hilarious, that, bro. Yeah. so funny. Yeah. He's like, you're going to be fucking loving all this OxyClean action. When I was, uh, when I worked as a merchandiser at an electronic store, we had an as seen on TV aisle and I would always just keep my phone max volume with my notifications on and I would just text people randomly. So they'd text me back. 
And uh, it would just be like, hi, Billy Mays here. And that, and that was it. <laughs> Billy Mays here with another fantastic product. And if you called me, it was like a montage of Billy Mays. <laughs> Sick. Bro. That's awesome. It man. was great, man. I had a great time. Maybe I should get some Billy Mays on the soundboard, bro. Yeah. yeah hi, Billy could. Mays here. Hi, That's Billy Mays need. here. And then just interrupt you guys with it all the time. Yep. <laughs> they did the remix of the slap. Hi, this oh, video Billy. slap chop. Yeah. You're going to make great foods all day. Just slapping your troubles away with slap, slap, whoa, slapping whoa, whoa, your whoa, troubles. Whoa, Copyright, stop. No, no one's copyrighted that. Someone That's some did. random dude on YouTube. Yes, no that random dude copyrighted it. I mean, I only sung about like seven seconds. Yeah, you're good. You could. I got eight more seconds. You slapping go. your troubles away with slap, slap, slapping. Okay. <laughs> Sick, dude. Walking the line there. Walking the line. Hey, guys. What's up? Hi, Keegan. What's the manliest thing you did this week? Bing, bing, bing. Life. Bing, bong. That's it. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I fucked your life, Bing Bong. Uh, oh. I'll start, man. Fuck yeah, Dan. I pooped my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Again? <laughs> and that's it. Hell Thanks yeah, for bro. tuning in to another episode of... <laughs> you guys. No, I got to hear about this one. No, dude, it, all right. So <laughs> everybody's like had this like, oh, I got to poop. I got to poop. And then they like poop their pants yeah. or like they sneeze and shit. Like whatever it is. I, like I said, had food poisoning. Right, so oh I puked. I felt fine, dude. I went to bed. Five o'clock in the morning, shitted in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, bro. Bro. <laughs> bro, there's no way. Bro. I'm not joking, dude. I was like sleeping, and then I like I like Wait, remember. How are you laying? On my well, the first one I was on my back. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> so I was on my back, dude. <laughs> and I like was in a dream and I don't remember what was going on in the dream, but in the dream I was like, I shit my pants. <laughs> okay. And then I immediately was just like, that's real. And I like jumped out of bed. I ran to the bathroom and hit cloth. And when I, when I poop my pants, I don't like keep the drawers. Like I just throw them away. I'm not going to go rinse them I off agree. in the sink and yeah, then go wash them or shit like that. I just threw them straight in the can. Ow. At the cat bit me. Um, and then I go back to bed, dude. 45 minutes later, I'm laying on my side. I'm like, there's no way this is going to happen again. Laying on my side <laughs> in a dream. Shit it again, dude. dude. that's <laughs> fucking crazy, Dude, bro. I woke up. I fucking ran back to the bathroom. My favorite pair of Ethicas. No, Man, not the oh, Ethicas. I have this pair of Ethicas it goes $30. for a while. The first one, the first pair that I did it were a pair of like that Jessica had got for me for valentine's day they were like this year uh no nah, like two years ago okay just you know boxer briefs with hearts all, all over hearts. them mm -hmm. yeah and i loved them because they were so comfortable the way they cradled the you know mm -hmm. the, the meat sack. and veg yeah bro. was great um and so i was like super sad about that but like in my head i was like there's no way i'm gonna shit my pants again <laughs> stop it <laughs> Get some help. <laughs> Honestly, bro. Dude, that's crazy. You shit yeah. your pants twice. That's Within crazy, an hour, bro. dude. So then I just didn't leave the toilet. And then I I had to wake up Jess. I was like, Jess. She was like, what? I was like, <laughs> I shit myself Check the again. Sheets. Oh, she was like, brother, what? Brother, this guy stinks. <laughs> I was like, I, to, I had to tell her. I was like, check the sheets. And she was like, what am I looking for? I was like, shit. Literally <laughs> shit. You're looking for my shit. <laughs> And just make sure it's uh, not in the bed. Uh, she and already has like a three-year-old. Or a, how old's your daughter? A one? One and a half. One and a half. One and seven. Actually, one months. and a half and one month, uh, if you, you guys pay attention. So Dan, one and seven months? Just know I pay the most attention. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. yeah, probably, yeah no She's problem. really cute. Yeah. <laughs> she acts like she no already has, he already has a daughter that shits the bed all the time, and now, now she has you. Yep. Now she's got she's another got daughter that she the bed. Little baby, big baby. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what was that? Poopy was boy. that a British accent of oi? <laughs> I don't, I don't oi, really yeah. know what it was, yeah, but oi, I, felt, oi, I oi. felt really, really good about it. Come so. give me five over here, yeah? We need some soccer thing. effects on this soundboard. We All need right. some soccer yeah, effects get some on the foot, get goal. some football. Yeah, get some football in there. <laughs> long as hell, like an hour yeah. long. Yeah. I'm talking the All whole right. episode in the background, constant hey, humming. Fuck yeah, Norm. I want to hear about the manliest thing that you did this week. Okay, so I want. I, there's two things I did, but I'm only going to talk about one because that's how this podcast works. Um, a new video game came out on Thursday. It's called Tiny Tina's Wonderland. 
if you guys know anything about her, it's a spinoff of Borderlands, which is my favorite game of all time. Show them your nipple. I'll sh- I'll show my titty on the pod. I can't really. There's a little guy right. There. Just go up. Yeah. Yeah. I'll you go pick up there the harder later. route. I'll go up there later. Um, you're oh, stepping on my. Shirt. You're stepping on my <laughs> mic cable. You're stepping on my mic cable. Keegan. Thank you. Um, but oh, I thought you were talking about the cat. No, you, you idiot. Um, no, but move the, game, the, cat. the game came out on. Yeah, I would have moved the cat <laughs> if it was the fucking cat. You want me to move whole Keegan? That's yeah. Harder. That's harder than it looks. Um, but the game came out on Thursday. I beat it by Saturday. That's the main least thing I did. I fucking. And I'm working on 100%ing it. I'm actually probably like halfway done 100%ing it. But I completely, fully beat the game like Saturday. Well, technically, it was like Sunday morning around like 3 a.m., probably. Um, cause I had work on Thursday. Explain to us. No, I was what is Thursday. it? What is it's Tell us about this Tiny game. Tina's. Tiny Tina's in Wonderland. So it's basically Borderlands, um, Borderlands? which is a, which is a, don't, you don't have to go that far. <laughs> no, it's, it's basically like an, an RPG first person shooter. Looter so shooter. you get a bunch of quests, you go complete quests, your character levels up and you gain a bunch of loot every time you kill so a big Tiny boss. So it's Tiny Tina's Wonderlands? Yeah, so it's Borderlands but as if you were playing through a Dungeons and Dragons eye. So there it's like a go. tabletop game as a video game as an RPG first person shooter. Mm-hmm. And it's fucking incredible. Like this game honestly like like Borderlands 3 was good. Borderlands 2 I think was better. This game has definitely it, like I they just smokes both they of them. added enough juice where th- yeah this might be my new favorite Borderlands um dude cuz it's so fucking good but I smoked through the game. I actually even started a brand new character like last night and this morning and I already have them at level 12 or 13 and the level cap is 40. So I'm literally my plan is to beat this game as many times as I'm having fun with it and I'm having a fucking fantastic time so far. So Okay. It's fucking fun, dude. It's so much fun. I'm I'm with biased. or without friends. Dude, yeah, I played this game with shit like I was level 40 halfway through the campaign, actually, because I started first, and then our homie Jacob started, so I jumped in his game, so I was basically redoing what I had done, um, and then Keegan hopped on. Is it crossplay? Yeah, it's crossplay. Keegan hopped on, and so we jumped back in Keegan's game, and both me and Jacob were redoing shit we both already done, and our friend Iala bought it on Xbox, so we all hopped in his game, and then so I had... I know the first two hours of that campaign probably f- like the back of my hand already because I've replayed the first two hours. I was level 40 mad quick. But then I finally beat the game. And the end game is fantastic too. They killed it. Gearbox, 2K, they fucking kill- killed it. Killed it. They killed it. Yo, fuck 2K, shit. dude. All my homies hate 2K. Yeah, they didn't hire me. So yeah, fuck they them. didn't hire Keegan. So fuck 2K. Yeah, how they, good did, is the they game? didn't hire me well, like three times. Game? Also, <laughs> your games are it? fantastic. Yeah, Great, fuck, fuck, fuck you. I will good. keep applying. 2K published it. Gearbox made it. It's fucking fantastic, brother. Go yeah. check out Tiny Tina's what, Wonderland. What was your if favorite you Borderlands somehow sponsor? It was Borderlands 2. Borderlands, Borderlands 2. 1 was better. Borderlands 1 was... <sighs> so my thing... Borderlands 1 started it all and it has a very special place in my heart. It's like... The, it's the game for me that like invest my love. Borderlands 2, I just thought they did the right things to advance the game enough but still keep it at its core where I was like, dude, I'm very happy with this and they did a fantastic job. Um, and now, But now, honestly, I think Tiny Tina's is probably my favorite Borderlands game. This game is fucking. It might be perfect in my eyes. So, I will agree with that. I'm statement. gonna keep playing. And Andy Samberg is in it, and dude. Andy huge. Samberg, Will Arnett, and Wanda Sykes are the three main voice actors in the game. And Ashley Birch, shout out her because she plays Tiny Tina. She does a fantastic job. Um, she didn't always play Tiny Tina though. Didn't yes, she, she did. She was the. She's uh, I thought only, they replaced Tina. She's been the only Tiny Tina. They replaced her for the movie. The movie they casted like an actual thirteen year old girl, but uh, gay. Yeah, but she's been the only tiny Tina, and she's done a fantastic job. Um, but yeah, so that's the main thing I did. I beat, beat probably I probably already have close to like thirty six to thirty six hours on that game already. 
in like the thirty six to thirty six hours. Huh? Thirty. I was gonna. I was gonna <laughs> say another more thirty six to forty two. I'll say I'm somewhere in that gap on that game already. And like, I've only gotten like two full days of be- being off to play it, but I played it for twelve hours both those days at least. I don't need friends. They disappoint. Facts. I just need that <laughs> fucking video game, brother. Just queue it up. Uh, <laughs> My uh, girlfriend knows better than anyone. I was like, babe. Just let you know, this is all I'm doing. <laughs> and she was like, okay. And I was like, thank you for understanding. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Pass it up. Go ahead, Keeks. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, the manliest thing I did this week? Yeah, dude. I uh, I ate a rock. We about to have some hardcore drama go down right about now. What he do to you, bro? <laughs> what <laughs> what does rock, rock do, the man? Rock. Like the rock? No, like a, just a rock. Like Wait, a rock. Why? Well, because I'm so tell the story. <laughs> it's not that much of a story. Uh, I was on the way here tonight, and I was like, "Oh fuck! Oh shit!" I did not do anything manly this week. I can't think of anything. Um, so, <laughs> so I, I ate a rock. So I okay. ate a rock. So I found. Uh, I'm embellishing the story. It was more like a pebble. Had to be small enough so that I couldn't chew it. Obviously. Uh, but I, I found a, a small, it's in my stomach right now. I, I found a small rock and I just, I swallowed it. Did you like put a marking on it first? Can you be I, honest was I supposed with us? to? Did you I actually I eat this painted or is this I would have painted story? it. I just like, want to know. No, I, I ate a rock. You actually did it. Yeah, I You're ate. Just, I'm okay if you made this up for the podcast. No, that's okay. I ate a rock. <laughs> I would have painted <laughs> okay. it like a, like a neon color so I could see it in my poop. Oh well, that would then I would be eating paint, and that's no good. <laughs> but I'll eat a rock. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I don't know how long that'll take to digest. Honestly, scientists. Well, you won't digest it. Well, right. I don't know how long that. What if it feels in, like in you're me. passing like a kidney stone while you're trying to take shit? It's like ugh. like a butt stone. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. Well, it wasn't that big. It was probably about. I mean, that's how big kidney stones are. They pass yeah. through. Yeah, but those go through. Wait, dude. Do, if it hurts, I'll let you know. Yeah, please Sick. let me know. I'm so what you didn't have the manliest thing that Keegan know. does next <laughs> week okay. is poop out a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, that's right. I got a two for baby. <laughs> it's gonna be <laughs> exact. It's gonna be right before uh, this podcast too. He's gonna ask Zach to take a shit. He's gonna take a shit. There's gonna be a little bit of blood in it because a rock pebble, fall, little poopy falls out with it. Yep, Jeez. that's so oh, fucking man. sick. Dude. I'll keep you guys updated on that's the story. Cool. But good job, Keegan. Pretty cool. Truthfully, I, you I never am. have to do that again, bro. Just make something up next. time. Yeah, no, I panicked, so I ate a rock. Sick. Okay. All right, man. Well, right. Zach, you're the last man standing. All right, man. Hey, hey. I ate two rocks. I <laughs> two rocks. Oh no, he topped Keegan. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't eat any rocks this week, unfortunately. Um, but I think the the manliest thing that I did this week is I'm I'm right now I'm finalizing everything for releasing this new track that i made and i'm i'm it, it actually by the time that this podcast airs um it will be out let's so go I'll have, so i'll have a new Shout song out out. yeah i'll have a new song really one of the it's best been a minute, right? out, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's been uh it's been Dude. quite some time since was I've the put clicks a song the out. last song you like officially released no i released no i released um one other song besides that which is um uh, but not on spotify money, though right no yeah the like it's on only on apple SoundCloud. music and and spotify were the only the clicks is the only song i've released on there but um soundcloud you have yeah but soundcloud music. i released i re- uh, released uh there follow was. prismac released. on soundcloud um, one other song, but this will be there another song. Right this will be another song that only comes out on SoundCloud just because it has a notorious big sample in it that I haven't cleared. So just, so to, you're just trying to get it out just there. to cover my own ass. I'm not going to put it out on, you know, Apple and Spotify. And we're things. gonna post uh, uh, Zach's song on our Instagram when it drops. Yeah, yeah. along Sweet. with a picture wow. of Zach. You. Yes, thank you. Yeah, uh, without so, his shirt on. So that that was the manliest thing that I did this week was I just I got ready and. And, um, I'm, I'm just. I'm now sending it, boys. And, have I know, heard part of the song? You've you've heard the song before, okay. yeah. Okay. You've heard it before. Um, but have I heard it? You've heard it before, yes. <laughs> He's oh, yes. It um, yes. Well, yeah. But um, I'm white. Discord's so. a thing. Well, my name's Kodak Black, but when you see me, I'm white. Oh, 
Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, that's that's <laughs> manly thing I did this week. Off. Very cool, man. I'm dude, just that's fucking um, say. I'm so I'm really proud of you, man. I'm excited dude. for your EP whenever it drops. I, yeah, just I haven't heard <gasps> it, bro. I'm excited to hear it though. Dude, you know, I like, love Zach. Here, music. here we are, uh, four months, Sing it. four months into <laughs> no, no, here we are, four <laughs> months the into the boom, end of the year boom, here, and you know, my my New Year's resolution was to start getting back on top of you know like releasing music and uh, doing things with Fuck my that, with my passion that I hope one day turns into a career that truthfully I know one day will turn into a career it's hey, just for what does your hoodie say for a minute uh, you gotta manifest that shit you gotta shit. manifest that you gotta shit manifest brother that shit. and uh, here Who's I am talking about the back? I'm, I'm putting uh, I'm Honestly, putting bro. it out there and yeah that's that's the manliest thing I did Hell this yeah, week brother. so nice. just getting ready man I got I got the cover art I've got some uh, some like content ideas to promote it and stuff and um, you know I'm just gonna put it out there and you know I think I feel, I feel like for a while it uh like the the judgment and the opinions of other people kind of stopped me from like doing what don't I wanted happen, and bro. you know like it's like it's easy to be like oh yeah like don't do that you know but then like when it comes time to like show people your music and they're like oh yeah it was all right then you're like oh okay I'm a fucking big old shit that's what I am <laughs> big you know old poopy. And, yeah I suck and um so like now I've just started to realize like you know what like. I actually like this song and I made it and if 99 out of 100 people don't like it at least putting it out there like does justice to what I've done you know what I mean like hey, it's Zach, you know, I'm gonna tell you right now I'm okay. gonna find those 99 people <laughs> <laughs> I will find them They're they dead. won't be hard to find There's I have, a, I have 99 a, of them <laughs> I have a particular set of skills <laughs> Oh man, yeah. So that that was it, man. I'm I'm putting myself back out there again and after I release this one, I have another one lined up to release Let's and go, then bro. another I'm uh, fucking instrumental album Let's that see. I plan on releasing that I'm wrapping up right now. I'm working on the artwork and stuff for that as well. And uh you know, I'm I'm getting to it, boys. I'm tired of fucking oh sitting around no and more like, stagnant. Yeah, get exactly. tired of that shit. I'm tired of that shit. So, hey. you know, hey, here, Zach, here we are. you're not a shit. You're the shit. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Hey, appreciate speaking of that, that. though, it's I, almost April. You know what I'm saying? No. No, no we, I don't. Honestly, I it, honestly, I want to get some merch out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, real talk. That's my well, idea. How was I supposed idea. to know that from you saying it's almost April? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's almost April. You know what I'm saying? You know what that It's almost April. You know what I'm saying? Merch Do madness. You know? no, Scott, I, fuck. Well, that was we actually missed an opportunity. Sick. We did. <laughs> March, merch madness instead of March madness. Next year when we have merch, we'll have a crazy sale during March. I think the biggest thing we need is stickers, bro. We get stickers out of some sticky, huh? Stickers. I like a hoodie. With the sticky hoodie would be sick, uh, Actually, it's summer. I'd it like a summer. tank top. Yeah, tank top. Tank top. Short sleeve shirt. I want a tanky. I want a V-neck with no, no sleeves. No, because even we were, uh, me and Krista took Zach and Mano out for dinner tonight, and Mano even brought up, like, she was like, are you guys making merch or what? And I was like, dude, fuck. So, yeah. Mano, hey, you should tell Mano, like, hey, you going to make us merch or what? Hey, you going to mind your own business no, yeah, or what? I, honestly, uh, dude, I'm just going to ask E. I'm going to be like, yeah, E, 100%. can you give you us got, just your, your merch person, and can we just send them graphics and they can print them? You got, mail, sure well. you got mail crop tops, bro. Dude, honestly, unisex, bro. Yeah, facts. Yes. Unisex. If yeah. can do I'm, it, I can do I'm, it. I'm not even joking. I dead ass said this year, like, or maybe last yeah, year, you I have said the abs it. Of a I want to. I want to bring so. back crop tops for men. All right, they were there at once, and they'll be there again. All right, and I'm just getting ahead of the curve. I want those European cut shorts. You mm -hmm. know that, yeah. that barely short, go short. past your dong. Yep. Dude, I love my and short male shorts. rompers. I like male rompers too. Dude, okay. I would love a male romper. Yeah, you got male. I'm rompers. Not, I'm not fully on board, but I'll get there, buddy. I promise you. I love short shorts. Look at my look at my shorts. No, shorter. Like here? Uh like right here. About right? there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where it's like just enough to cover your underwear? Like, like when barely. You, when you sit down, it's like your underwear sticks out. Do you wear underwear under your swim shorts? Mm. Yeah, I do some it depends on what pool yeah. I'm getting into. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Okay. It's just the way my brain works. I know it doesn't make a difference. Do I you don't. Do board like, shorts or 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 I I prefer board shorts, mesh. and when I wear board shorts, I wear underwear. If I have the mesh, I tend to go no underwear. Yeah, if I have because the mesh, there's something underwear. cradling my balls right. at least. It built an but underwear. Board shorts don't have shit. It's just a vinyl pair of shorts. Dan, weigh in undies on your on your swimmy trunks. Uh, typically, yeah. Okay. I feel that. Do you swim with a shirt on? 
What? <laughs> yeah. Psh, yeah. Dude, have you, have you seen loser. this I guy's did. nipples, bro? This I guy's did. nipples demand attention and respect. Keegan, how do you so. feel about puffy nipples? If you have puffy nipples, <laughs> kill yourself, <Yes>. honestly. <laughs> Yeah, get the fuck out. Yeah, dude. They're have wrong. regular nipples or be dead. No, that's there's, actually there's way too far. But okay, that. yeah, puffy nipples. No, there's nothing man. wrong with if puffy you got, nipples. I just you wanted got, to take an aggressive. Stance. If you got some puffy nips, man, I got just little know, tiny nipples. They're like the size of dimes. We, yeah, it's more to dude, suck on. You know on. what? All oh, here, I'll show you guys my titties respect. so you can see my borderline set too if you're all, watching this. They'll keep talking. I've said it this. once and I've said it again. All nipples deserve respect. And if you're not out there respecting all nipples, then I guarantee you one thing, that you're a big old bitch ass. And uh, you probably have like, uh, you know, like major problems about, uh, the you know, size and shape of your butt. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. That's what they say. If you're insecure about your nipples, then that means you have a weird butthole. Cut my balls off Weird butthole one. nipple time. And that's a fact. Dude, yeah, hey, Zach. That's a fact. Hey, what's There's up? a specific button I would like you to hit right about what now. What the fuck was that? That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> what? The, you, I think you know the button I'm referring to. Oh, well, if I knew the button you're referring to. Zach, uh, just what one button mail, do we press every fucking week, you oh, idiot? Oh, okay, yeah. Well, you're why don't you moron. fucking come at me from a different angle because that was mm. a stupid, shitty fucking you're angle, right. you bitch ass. We about you're to have some right. hardcore drama go down that right was, about that me. Wasn't, that wasn't the button. <laughs> there it is. Ayo. Let's it's mail started. time, motherfucker. Um, yeah, we're gonna get into this because this is a big one. This is a big one. It's not as big as Brian's, but it's but it's big. He might have. He probably put more time into it than Brian while he was just stoned uh, watching Adam Sandler movies. I'd say one hundred percent. That's the truth. This man Dayton, one of my long, long term friends that I've known since I moved to Vegas about seventeen years ago. Dayton. MC Master Baton. Yes, sir. <laughs> he sent us a very well worded email because he made the whole thing a rhyme. It's a poem. All of it rhymes. It's a poem. All of it. Um, so, how he did it, he gave each of us a section of said rhyme and he wrote it so that there's questions in said rhyme. Um, so we're going to run through this. Everyone's going to read their their part. And he actually put can instructions. I, can I read it all? Cause I'm, no, you can't oh, read okay. it all. Well, no, I'm, everyone's I'm reading the, their part. I'm the best reader. so That's you know, not whatever. true. So. Um, everyone's <laughs> reading their part. So how it works for you guys who have I think Dan's the only one who maybe have, hasn't read it. So he italicized the questions. So after you read an italicized portion they sh there'll be a question mark. Stop it. Answer the question. And Don't even ask. Reading. Just bring it. So I'm the first one he listed. Do you want me to go first? We'll just go. Yeah, we'll go in order of the email. Yeah, we'll go in order of the email. So uh, I'm the first one he listed. So here we go. Sitting on the couch and I'm right next to Dan. Compare my dick. How much bigger is the mic in my hand? This mic is much girthier than my cock. Mm -hmm. But like my cocks... The same length, probably. Well, Erect. I have a small penis. Good. It'd be honestly alarming if Mine's your penis be, was, uh, this, was the girth of this. This is, yeah, this is, this is at least a soda mic. can. Fatty. This is yeah. a soda can right here. Got that definitely. Hand, it's so. like a quarter of the girth, and it's probably just a tad bit longer. It's a little bit longer. <laughs> so, in comparison, the microphone cable, that's the girth? or No, it's a little bit bigger. Oh, it's, okay. like, it's like three times the mic cable. Three times yeah, so like of this? the microphone cable. This, yeah, this. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm talking about the base. You're talking, about the, I'm base talking about the base. I'm talking about the I'm gonna say two times. The meat of it. The, the base. Damn, that's fucking huge, bro. No. You got a hammer. All right, next <laughs> so, question. All right, all four of us a combo <laughs> like we're locking a safe. I'm wondering what's my favorite cocktail to make. Mm. My favorite cocktail to make is the Boulevardier because that's my favorite cocktail to also drink, and it's very simple to make. Facts. Equal parts whiskey, Campari, sweet vermouth. Put it in a mixing glass. Stir that bitch up. You can serve it up or on the rocks. I prefer on the rocks, and I prefer with Basil Hayden's Dark Rye because Dark Rye of the Basil Hayden's one great whiskey. 
and it's a little bit sweeter. So it's got a little bit, it adds a little bit sweet to the cocktail, cuts the bitterness of the Campari, and it is fucking fuego. Sweet so. to the cock. If you ever come into Nora's Italian cuisine, ask for Keegan or Norman, and ask for a Boulevardier made with basil and dark rye, and either of us will cook that up for you, and you can taste Norman's favorite cocktail. Call it the Norman Special. I'll know what you mean. Call it the Norman Special. He'll this know what you mean. brings out like toilet water. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this is what this guy asked for. Shit on their plate. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, versus cocktail to taste. Ooh, well, uh, I also answer that. Um, but if I'm going to pick another one, I love a great old fashioned. So we'll go with that. If you can make it old fashioned better than me, I appreciate that. Um, first I'm stopping the play. I think, did I ever have a shot to play in the NBA? NBA? Absolutely not. I don't think I'd get there. I think I could have gotten to like a D2 school is where I'm going to pin myself if my sophomore year of high school I wouldn't have gotten a job and I would have stuck to playing basketball and weightlifting I definitely think I could have played college basketball like no doubt in my mind I don't think I would have made it I don't think I was good enough or had the grind enough to make to the NBA but I definitely think I could have played college basketball I think I threw it all out the window when I got two jobs in high school um, I was the nicest in the world at my craft. Like, wow, what's my favorite video game I like to play right now? You already know Titan Tina's wow. Wonderland. Grinding that every day, all day. Dan thought this was a good moment to check Instagram Yeah, Dan's reels. uninterested. In <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I It was a cute baby video. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you have a cute <laughs> baby problem. Um, when I want... A breakfast bowl, what's my favorite cereal? Fruity Pebbles is the goat all time. Uh, when I look down at my balls, are they perfectly spherical? Definitely no, definitely not. No one has perfectly spherical balls. Mine are like oblong. Whoops. I think one has a little bump on them, but we'll figure that out later. My nuts are godlike. <laughs> okay. <next> <laughs> They're not spherical, though. I'll tell you that. Mm, they're pretty damn um, close. Hell yeah. They call me the egg-shaped ball guy. Yes, they do. If the four of us were Beatles, then who would be the Paul guy? I'm saying that's Zach. God. I think Zach has <laughs> <laughs> Zach has the most musical uh, things in his body. Like he feels it the most, and I think he could lead this band to success if we were the Beatles. Yeah, you're Ringo. Um, that's what she said. Me? Yeah, oh, I'm cool with that. Ringo's yeah. fucking sick. Dude. He wrote my favorite song. Uh, McCartney or whatever. Fuck, I don't want to cuss more. Let's end this. Who's on my hip hop Mount Rushmore? Hip hop Mount Rushmore. I'm going to say Lupe Fiasco. I'm going to say Jay Electronica. Kanye West is arguably the best producer of all time. And then I'm going to give the last spot to Earl Sweatshirt because I think he's the most promising young up and coming artist of our decade. And that's that. It's pretty good. Very yeah, good. Dude. Very that'll, good. That'll be my hip hop wow. Mount Rushmore. Um, all right, Keegan, you're next up. Do you have it loaded or you want my phone? I will take your phone because you phone. already have it loaded. Yes, sir. Keegan. We're it's just a candle. What's wrong with the candle? It's just it's smoking, smoking a lot. A lot. Has I a don't. Point. Don't the want smoke it detector to do. might go off, but the fan is dissolving. But the that, smoke but. detector goes off, then we get doused in water. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It just goes off. Ours goes off in our apartment all the time. It just goes fire. <laughs> fire. That's it. That's tight. Yeah, dude. But if you're dead. Mine does the same thing. <laughs> yeah, if there's if an I'm... actual fire, you just hope that's not, or that is real, and you get the fuck out. <laughs> Zach's does the same thing whenever he's making sick beats. It just goes, fire, fire, <laughs> These fire. These is the fakes. These is the fakes, brother. This is the fakes. All right. My, All right, go my ahead, dating brother. part. You did yours like a rap. I'm going to do mine like Dr. Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> he specifically said they're not raps. They're poems. So Yes. Yes. I do they're mine rhyming. They're in the rhymes. Th Potty in the toilet like I potty with my boilets. How do I enjoy the humor where all the joy is dead? Um, I think he's talking about how I have such a dark sense of humor. And to that, I'm going to answer. It's because I find humor in everything, uh, especially the most taboo topics. If it's off limits, I want to be in there making jokes because uh, I don't know. I don't I don't believe in off limits. As far I don't as you, need friends. They disappoint me. Truthfully. And either, you know, <laughs> you fuck with my vibe or you don't. And I have a lot of friends because uh, apparently you guys seem to agree mm -hmm. in some way or another. I definitely cross lines often, but that's okay because I don't give a shit. All right. Stop it. Get some help. I should. <laughs> 
I get girls so wet, I probably buoy three lakes. How do I feel about canceling Louis C.K.? Um, I'm pretty bummed about it. It sucks. Yeah, he, I feel like um, the media targeted Louis C.K. because because of cancel culture, they needed to get somebody from every genre, and Louis C.K. was the like guy. the first comedian. He was the first. Well, I think, well, other than Chris D'Elia. If they got Chris D'Elia first, then, then yeah, I don't, I don't think. Who came first. Louis C.K. for sure. Yeah. If they got Chris D'Elia first, I don't think Louis C.K. would have been canceled. Eh, maybe it would have. It was, I don't know. He masturbated in front of people. Yeah, he just masturbated in front he of people. He asked There's for permission. And yeah, then, he said, hey, can I jack my dick in front of you? And they yeah. were like, yeah. They were like, yes. And be, But then they were like, I felt like I couldn't say no. Well, then, you know. Grow a pair. Yeah. Yeah, faggot. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> so I, no worries. I beat my no dick worries. in front of you. I gotta pee. I'm so <laughs> sorry. I gotta I'm pee. Gonna no. to he can read that. this loud for me. Oh, oh, okay. Um. Zach, you might want to turn down the volume on my mic just a I'm little bit. I'm not going to do that, and don't yell. I okay. Will, I will uh, stab Norm, you. fuck you, and yeah, you Norm, don't get to hear this Norm, next pee question. with the door open, you fucking weirdo. I just want to get the love without no hate. Double negative. Do I like pulp in my OJ? Oh, man. Yeah, I You've want... you got to, bro. I want You've extra... you got to. Extra pulp. Heavy pulp. You've got to fucking do it, I dude. I want to chew my orange juice. You fucking dude! You talking about chewing your fucking orange juice? I got boner. Got boner, dude. I fucking like it. Yeah, I like it. Picasso. More pulp than I want it. I want it to feel like a Slurpee. Uh huh. You yeah. know, yeah. more pulp than I want. I want to choke on that pulp. High, high, <sighs> extra, extra pulp. Honestly, and and the craziest that I don't even want. I don't like oranges. <laughs> like I don't like just eating oranges. But I do if it's in juice form. Oranges are way too much work. Yeah, it's like you got to peel it. You got to taste that shitty rind when you bite it to get the. The rest of the peel off. You know what? I don't want to get into. You bite it to get the peel off the yeah. rind. Yeah, you bite the rind like a pull, to get it like a full orange, like a big orange. Yeah, I go yeah. Pick, and you, then I then I peel it. From there. Yeah, just fucking use your fucking. Finger I don't nail. need this right now. It's my question. Okay. I'm sorry. Pro- I heard about proceed. It. You want to chew know. orange I'm juice? Sorry. Is I'm what sorry. I heard. I think. I'm proceed, sorry. Mister. Half of our crew has orange hair like carrot fur. Do I feel like more men should be getting pedicures? Uh, yeah. Uh, if you want to, and if you don't want to, then don't. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, that's kind of. Do I feel like more men should? Yes, because I feel like the reason men don't is because they're afraid of being labeled as yep. as being feminine. Yep. yep. Zach, true. show them. It's true. Check show them the black toes. Check it, bros. Zach just black got his toes, toes just done. Just got them done. Bro. Beautiful. Beautiful. Black. Do you shave your toes too? I don't shave my toes. I'm just naturally See, hairless like that's because fine. I'm built for speed Let and aerodynamicism. <laughs> See, that's fine. But there is a guy at work that paints his toenails and he walks in and flip flops every day. And I do make fun of him every does day. Does he walk in just to show off his painted toes? He's it's like, like he kind of does show. that, but also it's like you, you know, like I. Like you guys know, if you're frequent listeners, I work at a machine gun range full of prior service people. Like, yeah. You, one, you why are you coming like, into a machine gun range with open toed shoes in the first place? Right? Well, he paints his toes and then he changes it into his boots for the, for yeah. like the uniform, and it's like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking laugh at you. Like this, like you that's guys extra. paint your toes, and I'm like, fuck yeah, that's cool, man. I don't paint my toes. Mine are a nice know. little. <laughs> we all have painted toes champagne except Dan. Color. Yeah, who's the minority now? <laughs> no, like, but you get what I'm saying? Like, in hey, that, Dan, in if that we place, ever had like that, a boy's day and we went and got pedicures, one, would you get a pedicure? Two, would you paint your toes? I mean, yeah, I feel like I'd use one. My toes are in terrible shape. So you're shape. down with it? Yeah, Dude, I'll get a pedicure, but I'm not getting my toes painted. You're not going to paint your would toes. Would you get off. a clear coat? No. Okay. They just uh, preserve your toes a little bit. Yeah, like they just make them a little coat. shiny. Yeah, but that's all right, man. But, like, I'll have somebody touch up the damage that I've done to my right. own toes. All right. All, all right. right. All right. I'll respect Good. you. And I, respect I, I, hope, I hope one day I see you rocking a real, real hot pink. It's real. Yeah, yeah I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes <laughs> I look, me. but I know, but I, but I'm I, but I'm saying, guy. I just, I, I hope, I hope yeah, that. Why do you hope that? <laughs> because <laughs> it's, I think, think you'd rock it, bro. Think you'd rock it real good, dude. Rock it like a, like, like a, a, rock it like a cock it. Rock it like a rocket science scientist. Go ahead. Keegan. I'm close <laughs> to painting my. I got my, I got my toes red, so, and oh, I'm not damn. gonna lie. Every time I, I look down at my toes recently, I'm like, these are women's feet, <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of want to fuck my feet. Uh, anywho. I could. Do you think I could? Yeah. Yeah. 
it would be work. I'd have to do some some yoga, some stretch stretches. a little bit more, and you're there. But I think I could do it. All right. Anywho, sorry, we're getting out, oh, motherfucker. I'm gonna kick the shit out of your cat. She wants to fuck your toes. She, she wants to fuck they were toes. pretty lady feet. <laughs> she did. She did. Yeah. No, I I don't think my my feet are very pretty, but um, I do right now. I'm gonna fucking kill your cat. Murder the cat. Uh. I'm so sorry. This is off topic. Um, there's not even a cat in the studio right now for all you listening. We've got so much mail, man. We could make a fat book. What would Apple have to do for me to want a MacBook? Uh, they'd have to make a Windows computer. <laughs> it's, it's <a> short <laughs> answer. Man, uh, uh, the longer answer, um, hmm. they'd have to make a Windows computer. They're, they're, I, don't, I don't want a MacBook. Yeah, yeah, and answer to that, uh, they're overpriced, and people who buy MacBooks are just conformists who can lick my penis. Man, I wouldn't even take an apple to a picnic. But how do I feel about using Linux? So, for those who don't know, Linux is the other operating system. There's like three, you know. Three, well, Windows, Linux has like Mac, a, and Linux. Yeah, Linux has like a bunch of different uh, versions of their own operating software, but. Uh, essentially, Linux is what's used to guide rockets to space. It's what NASA uses. It's what a lot of people use. Um, it's what programmers use because it is a very uh, manipul or easily manipulated uh, operating system. You kind of just you have to tell it everything you want it to do, but it will do it. Mm. So it takes it takes oh shit it mm. takes a minor programming skill. How do I feel about it? It's cool. I've used Linux. It's free. It, it's complicated and there's not a lot of games that are compatible with it. I still prefer Windows simply because of gaming. Um, but overall, I think Linux is a highly efficient and, and a good operating system. If you use Linux, good for you. I'm trying to tell you. Uh, humor is key. We coordinate like Prime Meridian. Last but not least, who are my top five comedians? Um... That's going to be hard, but I'm, I'm going to do it because that's I, what she said. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be hard. That was sick, Zach. Very Thanks, good. bro. I was Very waiting. Good. I was yeah. waiting. I appreciate it. I feel like my list, like as soon as I say it, it's it's going to change and I'm going to think of more comedians. That that's I exactly how I felt after my hip hop Mount yeah. Rushmore. I thought of like two more people I'd rather put on it. Than but we're going to commit. Um, there, so it, I committed. It used to be Louis C.K. is number one, but I'm not even going to include him on this list right now. So he, so we're going to throw him out and I'm going to think of I'm this I'm excited. I'm Thing, I I still like him. After yeah, the he's still so funny. He, he did a regardless. comeback tour. Yeah, he, or he did a comeback special, uh, and it was it was really funny. <laughs> yeah, he did like a super small venues, and you had to lock up your phone. He was like, no. Yeah, he was like, no phones, shit. no recording. I'll take a little more. Thank you. I'm sticking to this for the laser. Um. Anywho, all right. Top five comedians. Here we go. Bo Burnham, Tom Segura, Anthony Jeselnik. <laughs> I really got to pick carefully with these last two. Do, do, do. Joe Coy. And number five, number five, number Only five. Only because you know him, you little slut. <laughs> uh, because I know him, and also he was like one of the very, very first uh, comedians that I ever listened to and, and was highly inspirational. Um, no, Joe Coy is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, he's a great comedian. He, one more. He, he earned everything that Uno he has. Mas. Um, shit, shit, See, that's pretty good, right, Dan? One more, one more, one Uno more, mas. one more, one more, oh, one yeah. more. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, one more good. comedian. Okay, there's millions. There's yeah, there's so many. I mean, At least three. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. What does your gut say? John Mulaney is what my gut says. Then say John Mulaney. Okay. It is. Right. I. I those are four those of those are five, good. I think, are John great. Mulaney, yeah. he's new I don't know Joe Coy. That's I would love to have a whole episode where we talk about stand-up comedy, but keep reading your email. I would love to yeah. do a full episode where we talk about stand-up comedy um, and uh, maybe even like a That'd whole a whole special about it because I, I could do it for a while. But here we go. You could do it for a while? Oh, uh, yeah. I could do it. For <laughs> <so long. laughs> Sick. Yeah, not applicable, though. Yes. I, I can't do it for Sick. that long. Uh, anywho. Yeah, dude. Uh, last but not least, you might. Oh, I thought that was the end. But Another before I sign off, what's the most valuable thing I learned from Mein Kampf? 
<laughs> he knows you too well, brother. <laughs> he knows Just me. a little yeah. backstory. Mein Kampf is, is the, Hitler's is, book. Yeah, it's Hitler's autobiography. Yep. Uh, right? Yeah. yeah. It's well, autobiography. Sorta. His book that he wrote. Hitler wrote the book. Zach, you're next. Yeah. Way, so. um, I, I, <sighs> his <laughs> Did you actually read it? Yes. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> in high school, I had a fast, like I said earlier, I, I love dark jokes, dark he humor. Hates anything Jewish people. That crosses a line. I'm right there for it um because of that i was always fascinated with the darkest parts of human history and the darkest one you can think of is probably the holocaust so i i dove deep into research uh, at a very early age and that included reading uh cover to cover a copy of mein Kampf, which was actually written in two parts uh, one part b- during World War One when he was a prisoner in a jail, and then and then the second part when he was uh, the Führer, the leader of the Third Reich. Uh, what have I learned from it? Nothing. Uh, he is a hateful man, and that th- entire story is highly embellished by people that he paid, well, or forced or threatened, whatever, under his regime to make him sound better than it actually was. He he barely wrote Mein Kampf. Most of it is written by other people to make him sound better. What did I learn? Um, Hitler didn't really like Jews. Fun fact. No way. Yeah, he I was I thought like, he was like kind of on the good side. No, no, no. No, oh, no. he okay. wasn't he was he was one of, he was actually kind of a bad guy. No way. Yeah. Dude. I was thinking about naming my son Adolf. You still can. <laughs> okay. A lot of people there's no, still people No, you weren't. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you no, weren't. No, you can name him uh, Hitler's uh, friendly furry cousin. Rudolph. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> Joke of the day goes to Congratulations, Dan. Dan. You have proved today that you are a father. Rudolph. That was sick, dude. I love that. That was my favorite thing. Yeah, I'm going to use that Thanks. around the holidays. Yeah, yeah you can have it. That's <laughs> fire. Okay. okay. Zach, go ahead, oh, bro. Get now? it started. Yeah, bro. Okay. Uh, Zach. If we're in the man cave, then this potty is a strong bear. When I hit my, when I whip my head, do I ever miss my long hair? Uh, you know, I can't lie. From time to time, I do miss having the long hair. You but had that long hair, brother. yeah, I did. Past but your butt you know, cheeks. I, I cut it off. I when I cut it off, I donated two feet to uh, children God, with damn. hair loss. That's twenty four um, inches. I know. Gross. It's, That's it was so much. It hair. was. It was legitimately. If Quick I math. If I. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I, 12 of my dicks. If I took... Okay. Um, it's like I two took, of mine. <laughs> just, I could fit the very end of my hair in in between my butt cheeks at a certain point. Like, if I wanted to, <laughs> no, I could... No, you could not if you wanted to. You, wanted to, you he did, did that shit. At, at a certain bro. point, yeah. I fucking, I clenched it up. That's for sure. You know, but, you know there, what? Like, he's if I the, wanted after to... After the shower, nah. he's like in front of the mirror, and he's like, I wonder. That's that's when I knew it was too long. Yeah. I was like, it's time to go. But, he's um, like, now my hair pair. smells like shit. Yeah. Yeah. Over, <laughs> one day he was just... He was out of teepee, and he was like, oh, fuck. I guess my hair. I can just get back in the shower. I'll just cut a little piece off. Overall, I think, no, I like the short short hair better it's you look great it's, you it's look lower handsome. maintenance i do think i look more handsome with the with the shorter hair but you know i can't lie that there are some days that i do miss the uh miss the long hair you know it was a it was a large part of my personality for a while as weird as that sounds not to assimilate myself with a you know like a it was a chapter of, hair, of your life but, you know yeah exactly um but you know overall i like the i like the the short hair and i'm and i'm moving forward although i i will always have love for the long hair and who knows maybe one day it'll come back so um all right next question it it made me feel fancy like wine and a cheese plate do i prefer a new york or philly cheesecake oh man well, I think I think New York, honestly, I, it's like it's more robust. It's like it's thicker. Don't they I use ricotta? Like. I think so. I, I, honestly, I can't really I tell you do. what the difference between ricotta. them is, but I only had Philly cheesecake once, and uh, it was okay. And I've had a lot of New York cheesecake, and it's always fucking good. It's I think I think it's more of a full cheesecake. You know, it's definitely yeah. thicker, and it's like. Do you think but, it's more you know, of a cake or a pie? Because it's served uh, in a pie crust. This is, I don't know. This is a highly argued topic from my childhood. Really? Yeah, it was like a thing. 
more of a cake? Or I mean, a I pie? can see that. It's a pie. I've never no. thought about it. I've just called no. it cheesecake. Right. Cheesecake's its own entity to me. Yeah. Sure, but it's a pie. Go on. No. Sure. No, I like. I think I like New York better. It's thicker. It's more robust. I feel like the flavors are more rich. But you know what? Truthfully, I only had Philly cheesecake one time, and it really wasn't that great. So maybe I'd have to go to the source of Philly cheesecake, which is you know obviously in uh, Southern Los Angeles. Okay, next question. <laughs> I'm a great cook. People sleep, but don't rest on me. Which culture in the world do I know the most recipes? Okay. Um, I don't know. I'd probably say f- French, to be honest, now that I'm, now that I've like worked in this French restaurant for the last year and You're like a French girl and I eat and French. A French father. Yeah, exactly. Like That's I all like, French. and you yeah. French kiss and yeah. you eat baguettes. Yes, exactly. So, um, probably French just because, you know, like no, being in my job, I have to like actually understand like, favorite French food. Go. Favorite French food? Don't say escargot uh, unless that's your answer. We're <laughs> escargot. Escargot, quick. <laughs> unless that's your answer. Wow. Um, oh, man. You know what? I'm going to say mussels marinier. Which is, it's just, it's the most classic way to cook French mussels, right? It's white wine, it's shallots, and, a, and it's parsley. That's it's, gas. I can already, t- I've never had it. It's just literally gas. mussels. But honestly, I wasn't really too much into mussels when, uh, you know, like <laughs> You're at You're telling me. Uh, <laughs> Ew. Yeah, uh, uh, hit a button. But, you know, hit a button that roasts. <laughs> 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 One of the story, random buttons. Dude. Quick. Let's just. Reach- <laughs> it, was, it was very low, but okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. Probably, probably French, French cuisine, but uh, sick. Uh, yeah, I would say that. Yeah, yeah cool. Keep going, bro. Um, all right. Uh, music is the best. It's it goes hard, no flaccid skin. Which producer do I think is most all time talented? Um, that's hard. Holy sick shit, rhyme bro. with flaccid skin and talented, Dave. <laughs> yeah. That was fucking that was hard, bro. sick, bro. That was hard, Don't man. say I'm Avicii. He's dead. No, it's not going to be Avicii. It's it's hard to say, man, because there are so many, like... There's so many genres and uh, so many producers exactly. that are all like, good at what specifically they do. I, That's I'll, hard to do that. I, I I'm, I'm not going to say all-time most talented because I genuinely do feel like I have a couple answers for that based off, you know, different styles and techniques. But I would say that the one that I look to the most over the last couple of years is Pete Rock. Um, he was like, fucking sick. he was like one of the godfathers of like fucking East Coast, like boom bap and just like fucking hip hop beats in general at the time. Like he was a fucking machine or, or fucking Kanye West, man, because uh, truthfully, like that man was just, he's on another level. He man. Still is, he's like, he's a creative fucking force of nature. And regardless of if you think he's stupid or you think he's a fucking egomaniac or you think he's an asshole, whatever. He's a musical he is all of those He things. is a mother fucking creative force of nature, yeah. bro. He is, he he's is ridiculous. pure creativity incarnate. And that's just like, that's just the truth, man. And, uh, yeah. So, um, the world has a cough, but I know that I'm sick of, Sorry for the hard R, <laughs> but what's my favorite liquor? Oh, thank <laughs> God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I got scared there for oh, a no. second. <laughs> Dane's Bulgarian. He can't say that. Oh, man. Um, what's my favorite liquor? Damn. Okay. You know what? I think it's, it's so... Uh, circa 2018 club white girl, but Don Julio 1942, baby. I feel like that 1942 <laughs> just go yeah. down smooth, Let it flow, man. baby. And I, I still remember the first time I had 1942. My my friend's father um, on New Year's Eve was just like, hey, you know what? Like, it's the new year. You guys just graduated high school. You know, like, let's pour up a, a, a shot of the good stuff and let's and let's take this, you know, like moving forward near guys' lives and I drank it and legitimately it went down so smooth that it shocked me because all I had known up to that point was just like shitty liquor. Shitty fucking like UV blue and like liquor and all this and it was just like it was like I just drank garbage my whole life and it was the first time that I drank liquor and I was like why did that go down so smooth that was incredible so 1942 man I think that's got like a lot of nostalgia and I think honestly it's uh it's just a really fucking good tequila so you know yeah, I'll go with that. Um, uh, so full of positivity, no one can empty me. Growing up, did I prefer VH1 or MTV? Oh, that's a good oh. question. 
I think MTV, man. Yeah, I think I think although VH1 had its bangers for sure, um, I think mostly I just like I, I loved MTV for things like Wild and Out and uh, was that on VH1 back in the day no, or was it? No, that's MTV. I think it was MTV. Yeah, so yeah, uh, like Wild and Out, Room Raiders, and then yeah, fucking. and then Jersey Shore, Room Raiders was sick, yeah, next. Um, all that. Yeah, so call me Sunshine, even though I'm up late. Do I have any nicknames said to me that I just hate? Uh, no, I don't, because you can call me whatever you want to at the end of the day, and I really don't care. You could call me a bitch. You could call me the greatest guy to ever live, and truthfully, it wouldn't mean anything Piece to me. Piece of shit. Uh, okay. Pussy monster. <laughs> Ginger fuck. <laughs> All right, well, sweet. Um, <laughs> Zach and, uh, nailed it. Yeah, so no, I don't I don't think so, Maybe man. You know, you can't basically. you can't let shit like that uh bother you. You know what I mean? Because if like realistically that's like just allowing somebody to control your happiness and to like, you know what I mean? Like just at the end of the day, it's like if I have a nickname that I don't like, then truthfully my first thing is to just get the fuck over it and be like whatever. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? That's not going to yeah. define me that nickname, you know. So it's like truthfully I don't uh I don't really uh Get any get any nicknames to me that I hate. So. I call him Little Pee Pee Boy. He loves it. Yeah, that's true. Uh, to be so happy, I swear you don't need any special tools. Just a smile and my and some tunes. So what's my favorite music festival? That didn't. I don't know if that rhymed. Oh. To be so happy, I swear you don't need any special tools. Just tools a smile. And festival. Just a smile and some tunes. So what's my favorite music festival? Festivals. Okay, I could see it. Yeah. Okay. Um my favorite music festival, I honestly I think it's EDC Las Vegas. I mean, it's the like I haven't been to like an abundance of music festivals, but that one is just like revered through the world as one of the best festivals like in the world, and I think it's just got like this this amazing vibe to it. And you know, I've only been to like a couple other festivals but you know uh, so maybe i'm not you know the most uh the most experienced in that realm but you know it's a it's a it's a special festival man and you I've come there been, you get you get fucking weird go. dude someday we should all go man we should all get the potty boys and we next should all year. get our ladies and we should and we should genuinely no. we should go man you're it's, going next year it is yeah i made a promise it is so it. much Solo. fucking fun bro if dan oh. goes i go dude it is yeah, so much goes, fucking I fun go. dude none of you guys have been to udc have Never. you nope. oh man can i go with you guys and i just like yeah, i just so Chris I just, so really I just want to be a me, fucking so. like a big eagle and have you guys just under my under my wing and I'm to. just baby burden you guys your nutrition yeah, feed me all your, that yeah. money. I am gonna do uh, so whatever. much heroin in ecstasy <laughs> no. No. Um, no yeah no. I'm, I'm, but, uh, yeah keep, no yeah okay I'm not that's, gonna do heroin that's good for me I'm uh I'm good with that Zach all right Dan thank you guys I'm what? not gonna do heroin yeah okay let's yeah. hear Dan why don't you keep that wing I'm really bad at reading. But you Just let this. me say that up front. So it says, uh, Dan, potty with my three boys. Big shit. We need three big stalls. What three words would I use to sell them on disc golf? Mm. Cheap. Good start. Heiser. 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 I'm sold. Anheuser. Bush. That's enough. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm sold. sold. I'm down. I'm cheap. You said cheap. Feels like it's a match. Good. Not talking about a short flame. What's the most slept on underrated board game? Ooh, Ooh. slept on underrated board game. Right, bro. Board game. I mean, if you want me, to, I'm. I had never heard of Moonrakers until that's you what I was gonna me, say. And, and I so was fucking I, I wouldn't say that bro. it's underrated, but I feel like it's not at like it's not easy. I want to play that rated. game every time we have a board game night now. Yeah. Like so Moonrakers, a uh, brilliant fucking game that works on teamwork Fan, plus dude, your fantastic. own it's ulterior motive. Stabbing in the back, everything. You yeah, want yeah. So game, I don't know. It's a great game and. I don't know if it's underrated as much as it's just like not as much. Hey, dude, Chance uh, Corpus is calling you. He's calling me? Yeah. I just ignore it. I'll call him afterwards. That's weird, okay. though. All right, yeah. man. Uh, but yeah, Moonrakers. Like I said, I don't know if it's underrated, but it's definitely like I found it like just at a happen chance. I was just like looking for board games, and then they popped up. 
solid I hadn't board heard game. of it before it's you. Fucking great. So yeah, you introduced you introduced me and Norm to it, and it's dangle on my game. line while I swing it like a fishing pole. Do I think these other three dudes could even fish at all? Mm. I mean. We call it fishing, not catching for a reason. Anybody can fish. Hey, oh. It takes a true craftsman <laughs> to catch them. You know hey, what I mean? Let them know, brother. Don't even ask. Just bring it. <laughs> Swear you need patience for it, but I'm no doctor. How long can I actually hold my breath underwater? Quite a fucking bit. Uh, I had, this. back when I was in the, the old army, right? Yar. Arr. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the army. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had a uh, one of uh, the team leaders in my platoon came back from combat dive school, and then he got switched over to my squad. So naturally, that meant that I was going to be doing PT with him, which PT is physical training. That's what we call our workouts in the morning in the army. Uh, so since he just got back from con- combat dive, he would take us to the pool about four times out of the five day week, right? Mm-hmm. And basically fucking drown me <laughs> All right. for an hour. Like it, it was awful. We had to do this thing like Bob's where you had to hold your hands behind your back, go to the deepest end of the pool, which was 12 feet, sink all the way down to the bottom, bounce off to the top just enough to get your head up, catch your breath, and then go back down. And you just had to keep doing that shit. And, dude, it was just like – it was terrible. So <clears throat> at one point I was able to hold my breath for over two minutes. That's pretty God good. damn. Yeah, it is pretty cool. You can um, hold your I breath. I think the, I think the uh, the the record for holding your breath is like over five fucking minutes. Yeah, it's that's something crazy. Yeah, yeah that's I've something seen stupid. it before too. But, but for like the ridiculous. average Joe being able to like me thinking like, oh, I can hold my breath for over two minutes, I was like, that's pretty fucking cool. I can hold my breath for pretty long. I think I we, don't think I can hit two minutes. Breath holding competition. Yeah, I can hit maybe <gasps> thirty seconds. Uh, it sounds so. like it, and honestly, it's a perishable skill since I haven't been doing it. Yeah, because like, your lungs get trained, right? Yeah, they yeah. get acclimated. Yeah. You got male, like Bloom had elf ears. Should I say ale? But what's the best India pale beer? Um, like the best IPA? Yeah, I don't know. There's so many. Yeah, there's a fuck ton. What's the uh, one you drink the most? Uh, I know we talked about Voodoo Ranger. That, I would say Voodoo Ranger. Voodoo Ranger has probably. some great Probably that's IPAs. the one that I'm on right now. And yeah, honestly, I just go there fine. and I get their fucking variety pack and I just have a good time. Yo, yeah, their variety pack is Dude, gas, fuck a Voodoo bro. Ranger, bro. Yeah. I'll fuck a Voodoo Ranger up. Fuck a Voodoo Ranger. <laughs> Speaking of Orlando, he killed it as Legolas. Would I pick Orlando's Disney World or... Uh, SD's Legoland, what well, SD's Legoland. San Diego. So I haven't been to Legoland. Neither have I. But I was just talking to my wife like the other day about how bad I wanted to go to Legoland. Dude, I've I'd been love to, to um, I've been to Disney World once for the first time. How was it? We spent a week there. It was fucking fantastic. Dude, I'm it, going. It was, it was really next cool. Year. We went to like the whole That's like Star Wars shit. Got to go inside the Millennium Falcon and all that That's shit. And it was pretty cool. Um, I went to Legoland as a kid. It was pretty disappointing. <clears throat> I'm gonna say Legoland just because I haven't been there. Feel it. Two Hans on the mic, so I'm not going solo yet. Which was better, Mandalorian or Boba Fett? You haven't watched Boba Fett yet. Yet uh, and Fett. Okay. Uh, what? Yeah, I've watched all of oh, them. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Honestly, I think That's that they I were love both you. great. I'm going to say Mandalorian. Is a um, little bit better. Was a little bit better, but yeah. Boba Fett literally just turned into Mandalorian yeah, too. Yeah, the last like three episodes were uh, just Mandalorian episodes. They were solid, but I definitely liked uh, the Mandalorian. Mando just had more action, you know. Just yeah, it was cooler. A, they did Cara it. Dune and everything. It was yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. <laughs> want to ask this before I do my handoff. Who would win in a fight, Yoda or Gandalf? Gandalf. Really? You yeah. think Gandalf is Yoda? That's yeah. close. Yeah. No, I, I think, think that close. Gandalf does, dude. If if fucking Gandalf can... Uh, I'm fucking pulling a brain fart here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Gandalf the Grey can beat fucking... You shall not pass, right? That scene where the he hits Balrog. It. The Balrog. Thank you, Keegan. If Gandalf the Grey can defeat the Balrog, which is then, basically the devil. Yeah. 
then Gandalf the White can defeat anybody. Yeah. yeah. I that's, respect yeah. that's my thoughts. I respect that. But you I'm also, dude, like it's like, it's so, master, so my tier, right, is like fucking Lord of the Rings, a half notch down is Star Wars, then two notches down from that is Harry Potter. Yeah. yeah. I'd so. agree with that other, I'm probably like the opposite up top. I'm just like Star Wars, then like Lord of the Rings, and then Harry Potter. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel that. Yeah. I feel that. <coughs> Lord yeah, of the Rings. That, right, that was it, dude. That was, honestly, that, email, that was super creative. Dude, that, that was, was really super fun. fucking yeah. cool, Dayton. Dayton. The Dayton. fact that, Dayton. dude, Dayton. I, I, I've never even met this guy, but all of the questions that he asked me were, like, personalized. Yeah, on he had, stuff he had that, texted me, and he was like, what's Dan kind of into? And I told I gave him, like, a couple things. I was like, he's, like, fishing in Star Wars. and But he clearly listened to the other. I never said disc golf, so he clearly listened to the podcast. Um because he listed some things that, like, I didn't even tell some him. Some deep cuts in there. Well, thanks, right? man. Yeah. That, that was dope, Dane, that dude. was fucking cool, bro. Thanks for the personal dude, mail, man. Yeah, that was, really that cool. was sick. If any of you other motherfuckers want to send us cool mail like that, we would fucking appreciate it. Mm-hmm. We would. And you got that's, mail pod at gmail.com. That's half of what we do here. 30 dude, minutes is up. The is, mail is, is, is so bullshit, It's man. our favorite part. It is. is the mail. So send us mail, dude. It's cool. You get to be featured on the podcast. It's in it the gives title. you a reason to listen. Yep. So please send us mail. Yep. All of you. Or get fucked. All or right. get fucked, bitches. Yeah. Thank you for Tell listening, them, Keegan. We'll see you next week, maybe. I'll maybe. Fuck you. We'll see you yeah. next. Week. We'll see. I you will next fuck week. the you. shit out of you, bro. I'll fuck Raw you. dog My style. Wife's name out your fucking mouth.